hi guys and welcome to vlogmas day six this morning I woke up early and I dyed my hair and like I said in yesterday's vlog I was supposed to show you guys but only because I get a lot of questions about it I don't know what happened but I totally forgot and I just got super excited to do it but I'll show you guys which box dye I used and I honestly only left it on for eight minutes and I just did like the ends first and then I did the roots since my roots were like my natural color and they were already dark and then I took a shower but I put in my extensions that Doug helped me cut yesterday and they're a little straggly so I think I need to clean up the ends like this is an awkward long piece so I just need to like probably cut off this much more um but yeah this is what it looks like it's much darker and the reason I wanted to dye it right now is because it fades a lot really quickly and I just wanted it to look fresh since I won't be able to do it when my baby arrives I'm probably not going to be doing anything to myself for a long time since I'll be figuring out how to raise a baby. Um, so yeah, that's what I did this morning. So I'm currently making lunch and my eyes are like crying because I'm cutting an onion and I don't know what is going on, but I got these red onions from our grocery store and they are the strongest onions. One thing that annoys me whenever I buy onions is like how big the rings are. And I feel like someone can answer this for me, so I wanted to ask you guys. I don't like it when the rings are huge and you have like chunky onions on your sandwich. I want like really nice, thinly ringed onions so am I buying the wrong onions like I don't know let me know in the comments if you guys have answered that question or if you have no idea what I'm talking about um but basically all of our onions are like chunks just because that's how they come out but anyways that was random um I'm cutting some cheese for my tuna fish sandwich which I like to put everything on I feel like I eat tuna fish sandwiches really strangely at least my family does I put corn arugula mayo tuna uh what else onion cucumber and cheese they're just so much better this way you guys should seriously try it lunch time this is what it looks like so good usually i also put a hard boiled egg in there or half of one but i didn't feel like making one so it's a lot later now and i've basically just been sitting in my bed working on my computer all day so nothing vlog worthy again um but yeah basically i used to sit at my desk um ever since i started working from home about I think it was last year, last December, I started working from home. And I used to sit at my desk to try and feel like a regular person. Because that's what I was used to when I used to work full time at a company. And then I got pregnant and it seriously hurts my back. So I lay in my bed, which I know is not very good. But yeah, I seriously haven't seen sunlight all day. It's so bad. But it's gloomy anyways. It's super gloomy. I feel like I should look up the weather see if it's gonna rain but I'm starting dinner because it's like 4 30 and you guys always like to know what I cook so not that I'm a chef or good at cooking at all but what I'm gonna make tonight is pasta and it's Doug's well not his favorite thing his favorite thing ever is Japanese food but I'm not about to attempt that I've never made it usually he makes that so I'm basically just sauteing up onions chicken with olive oil and salt and pepper I have so much leftover pasta from when my friends came over and I made that other pasta dish so this one's kind of like a variation of that one um, but that one had sausage in it and we're having chicken tonight so I just added in some sun-dried tomatoes and spinach I put in a lot of spinach because it cooks down like a ton and I'm also watching the Real Housewives of New Jersey I'm like a big fan of all the house, well not all the housewives. I tried to watch Dallas and it was kind of kooky for me so I didn't watch it. Um, sorry, I'm like starving. So I just started the new season or the newest season of um, New Jersey. And yeah, I'm catching up. I'm on episode four, I think. And it's pretty addicting. These women are by far, I think they're the craziest, we know. Atlanta for sure is the craziest. But let me know which one your guys' favorite is. Obviously mine's Orange County because I grew up there. But yeah, this one's pretty good actually. Teresa Judice just got out of jail, which is crazy. It was so sad. When she came home to like meet her daughters, I seriously almost cried. And I don't even really like that girl, but it was like so sad because if you guys don't watch the show, she was in jail for a year for like tax fraud or something, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm watching this and stirring my spinach. So I'm just making a really easy cream sauce and this is not healthy so if you're trying to be healthy I'd probably stay away but I basically just used whole whipping cream just probably like one fourth cup and then a cup of regular 2% milk um, a tablespoon of flour give or take I'm not that 
strict on measurements when it comes to this stuff because it turns out good every time. Salt and pepper and butter. And then you just whisk it until it forms like a thick consistency. And then I will pour everything together with the pasta. This is what it turned out. Doug already likes it. it smells really good. Yep. And I put some, what? For I'll a second I was wondering why this bowl was here. Oh. <laughs> I realized it was for the salad. Um, I was going to put corn in it, but I decided against In the it. pasta? No. Well, yeah, I was going to put it in the no. pasta. <laughs> so or bad. or the um salad. No. Someone doesn't like corn. Doug's back to his old ways. He just ate off my bowl, and I whipped out the camera, and he pretended like he did it. Oh. <laughs> so <then>. dumb. <laughs> I you can have it. He really liked it. I forgot to tell you guys that I put Parmesan cheese in the sauce too. Oh yeah, so bomb. This is like one of his favorite meals. What are you looking at? Would you hang on the wall? What? <laughs> he just stole my pasta! <laughs> You're so dumb. I was like, if there's something on the wall behind me that <laughs> that's sketchy. And I was over here like... <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so I never ended the vlog yesterday because I fell asleep again. What were we watching? Cutthroat kitchen. kitchen. We're addicted to it. Well, I'm addicted. Doug just watches it. I thought to make yesterday's vlog a little longer, I would do the Christmas tag. By the way, we're on the way to the doctor's. If you're wondering why we're in the car, I got the tag from MamaCatsLosingIt.com. I don't know. Some mother blogger. Um, so, number one, favorite Christmas movie. Mine is by far The Holiday. And everyone says Love Actually, but Doug and I just watched that and did not like it. Like, I feel like we're the only ones that think that movie is... It's, whatever. it's just like British humor is not the same yeah. as what we're used to. The Holiday's good. The Holiday, did you like that one? Yeah, but do you like, like, you like the OG ones? Like, um... Like, uh... Like D2, Nash National like Lampoon? Dogs. Is that a Christmas movie? Uh -huh. Yeah, National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. What were you going to say? Mighty Ducks? Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks. <laughs> I've never seen it. For two, are you on the naughty or nice list? <laughs> Stupid question. I'm on the nice list. Doug's been really on the nice list because he's been so nice throughout this pregnancy. Yeah, but if when I'm not when, if, when you're not pregnant, I was gonna say when I'm not pregnant, I ride a fine line between naughty and nice. Okay. <laughs> Number three, show us an embarrassing Christmas photo. I have one that I'm going to insert. Oh, uh, yeah, it's for both of us. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Doug and I dressed up for some slutty Christmas party back in you college. You call it a slutty Christmas party. What was you it could called? Just call it a party. No, the party was actually called, wasn't it called Ho Ho Ho? Yeah, it was a Ho Ho Ho. It was party. Doug's fraternity party. And <laughs> this is back when we actually had lives. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like proud of the moment. Oh, God. Are you really going to put that picture? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put it in. That's the only Christmas photo we have that's semi-interesting. Even yeah. though we're both half naked. I'm pretty sure Doug put a bow over... Yeah, over my boxes. Yeah. We've changed a lot. Like, <laughs> now we're grandparents. Okay, um, number four, have you ever had a white Christmas? No. No. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah. I barely had a rainy Christmas. Do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait until last minute? Wait until last minute this year, but normally Black Friday. If you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? The holiday, yeah. but I would not want to sleep with those guys because yeah. <laughs> that's basically like it's like a love movie. Um, what about you? I don't know. Not Home Alone. I really don't know what I'm being. Name all of Santa's reindeer. I'm gonna make Doug do it. I can't. It's in a song. I just know starts that. with Dasher. <laughs> yeah, there's Dasher and Prancer and. Blixen. No, I think it's it's not Blixen. We're gonna be here all day. I think it's Dasher, Dancer, Donner, Blitzen, Comet Cupid, something, something. <laughs> when does your family put up your Christmas tree and who decorates it? Well, we don't live with our parents anymore. I don't even think my parents have a tree up yet. Well, Actually, no, no they this do. Isn't our family. Oh, no, our family. When did we put up our Christmas We've tree? We've only done it twice. Uh, we put it up way early because he needs us to film Christmas videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't even used it though, um, but the day after Thanksgiving. And is your Christmas tree real or fake? It's so like sad right for me now. to, yeah, it's so sad for me to answer this because it's just so not who I am and who I want to be, but it's a fake tree. Yeah. And that's because I didn't, like, I don't know, I was paranoid last year when we moved into our apartment. I thought that 
the tree water would get all over the carpet. We wouldn't get our security deposit back. So we got a fake one, but I'm a real tree person at heart. And one day I would like to have a tree in every room, but I don't know if that's gonna ever happen. Number 12, peeking at gifts or be surprised. Be su uh, I, no, I don't know what I'm saying. Doug and I tell each other what we want every yeah. year. Yeah. I'm not about to go buy, buy car parts and he's not gonna go buy no. makeup. Last year I asked for a bunch of MAC makeup and I've used it all year, it's the best present ever. Yeah. I do not believe in surprising like your spouse. Like no, I just, look at, you just tell them what you want. You don't get a gift for someone like that has to do with their hobby because there's a good chance you're not gonna get the one that they wanted. Yeah, and that's the what they really want. They need, you know? You know? So yeah, basically usually we ask for a list of stuff and then And then we choose from that we list. We choose from that list, yeah. yeah. Number thirteen, show us your ugly Christmas sweater if you have one. I don't have one, but you guys saw Doug's in the vlog the other day. Yeah. Number fourteen, if you could be under the mistletoe, this is stupid. With anyone, I'm gonna skip that. And number fifteen. Natalie Portman. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's my go-to. Natalie go -to. Portman is not that's, even cute. Like, I'm not my, even offended. That's my go-to to just rile Haley up. That's my go-to. <laughs> if you guys have nerds or husbands or boyfriends and they only like Natalie Portman, who, in my opinion, is not the hottest chick of in the Wars. world, let me know in the comments. because of Star Wars. That girl is just like, why? It doesn't even offend me. Whatever. <laughs> You're so annoying. I'm gonna skip that, and I already knew in my head. You really went for it that time. <laughs> I already knew what I was gonna say. You're so dumb. <laughs> Does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help make? No. Cool stuff. This. Your family does fondue. Yeah, we do a sausage fondue in the morning. I've never even had fondue. Awesome. That sounds bomb. It's so, so good. Are you pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? I just slap it together. I'm sure you guys could have guessed that from me. Yeah, I do at, not care about wrapping. Whoa. Doug takes it all seriously. He's in there for like three hours yeah, wrapping like, presents. Oh, get that wrap on and then it comes out shitty still. Yeah, so it, doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. My family seriously writes with a Sharpie. The names on it, we don't even use special stickers or tags. Oh, I it's like, like mom, dad. Haley yeah. from Santa. Um, have you ever gone Christmas caroling? Yes, I used to be in choir in seventh and eighth grade and we went from house to house. I hated it, I was so shy. What tops your tree? Martha, our angel, already shown you guys. And I kind of talked about this in the snap, in my Snapchat, but that was one of Doug's and I's like first quarrels, not really. But when we first moved in, in like two, two Decembers ago, we were like, Doug's like, let's get a star. And, you, and I was, and I told him. just like rolled so far in the back of your head. I was like, an angel tops the tree, not a star. And I won that debate. Yeah, that wasn't it. He was like, all right, whatever. I don't win much. <laughs> do you make New Year's resolutions? Do you stick to them? Yes, and I never do. My New Year's resolution is usually always to lose weight. Yeah. <laughs> Which I, like, I don't know. That's for sure gonna be my resolution this year. Well, yeah. It has to be, because I'm in like a bunch of weddings next year and I cannot be fat for those weddings, like honestly. Same. So you guys are gonna see a big shift on my channel. Us eating cereal every night to me eating salads. The slogan be eating cereal. No, I'm banning cereal after January 1st. That's my New Year's resolution. Yeah, right. Do you have New Year's resolution? I usually don't do. Yeah, Doug doesn't. Just because I think you don't have to wait till the new year to do a resolution. I know, but you just get, it's like a spirit of thing. I know. And the last one is, you have been granted one Christmas wish, what will it be? To have a healthy, happy baby. Man, why'd you take my Christmas wish? It's both of ours. Yeah, I know. That's really all I ever wanted. Yeah, seriously. And I wanted to do the comment of the day. This is from Prepped for Glamour 18. You know I'm gonna do your comment. What? She says, love your videos. Been watching for about two months now. I'm a Zeta 2, Zeta love and more. Oh, come on. Have to do that one. <laughs> If you guys didn't know, I was in a sorority in college. Doug was in fraternity, that's how we met. And it's so cool to have another ZTA watching my videos. That is pretty cool. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. Sorry, I was kind of all over the place, but whatever. Um, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.